this drive-in has a bit of a story. We are going to go through nine enchanted lands to find Santa Claus. We found Santa! 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 He's dancing! <laughs> Hey guys! Welcome back to the vlog. Our Christmas celebration continues. We have gotten a lot of great feedback from you guys about our Christmas pajamas from the previous vlogs. We need to celebrate and treat ourselves with some eggnog. You guys aren't alone because we have seemed to form an obsession with them. Is there such a thing as too much Christmas? So this week, we may or may not have ordered another pair. But these ones are going to be onesies. Here it is guys, we got this one from Arden. We actually went to a couple of stores but they don't have available sizes for this specific design. Luckily, they have it online. I think we, we switched. Oh. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> that's mine. There, that's there better. So she got a small. And I got an XL. Hopefully this fits. Let's just address the elephant in the room right away. <laughs> it's a tad too short for me. It's a tad too small. But I think I can work with it. Aside from obsessing over Christmas pajamas and Christmas onesies, we have been celebrating Christmas by drinking hot chocolate. A bunch of different hot chocolates. <laughs> now all these hot chocolates are nice and delicious, but nothing is going to beat a homemade hot chocolate. I'm gonna share with you guys a simple hot chocolate recipe that I got from my mom. We've always drank this hot chocolate every Christmas. So you are gonna need a small saucepan. For two servings, we are gonna recommend three cups of water. And you are gonna need some cocoa powder. We always go with organic whenever there's an option. I think we got this one from Costco. The amount of cocoa powder really depends on you guys, on how strong you want it to be. We realized, over a few tries of course, that every three cups of water, we put one fourth cup of cocoa powder in it. We kind of like our hot chocolates a little bit sweet, especially Max. So we are gonna put three tablespoons of sugar. And for the last ingredient, we would need some fresh milk or evaporated milk if you have some. For us, it's just gonna be fresh milk. We are gonna use half cup of fresh milk. And now we are going to cook this until all the ingredients are combined. While Nat is preparing our hot chocolate, I'm going to address our balcony situation. Some of you guys have been asking what happened to our balcony tiles. We've decided to remove them for winter because we were worried that it was collecting dirt underneath. We are glad to say that the tiles are tucked away and clean and they'll be back springtime next year. How's it going? It's almost ready. You wanna look? Mm, look at that. Mm. All chocolatey goodness. Mm, I can smell the chocolate. And also, I would recommend if you guys have a saucepan with a pout, use it. <laughs> because we don't have a saucepan with a pout. So I think I'm gonna have to scoop this out. No hot chocolate will be complete without marshmallow and whipping cream. But make sure, if you guys are putting them, to put the marshmallow first before the whipping cream so the whipping cream stays on top. Here you go! Cheers! Cheers! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Mm. 
<laughs> it's so chocolatey. It's not one of those instant hot chocolate that you buy in the store. This feels like every Christmas during my childhood. One other thing that we did to celebrate Christmas this week was we visited another drive-in, but this one is called P&E Winter Lights and it's normally held at the P&E grounds. Yes, we are on our way to P&E Winter Lights, but Max and I decided that we are gonna stop by one of our most favorite places for fries. This is Potato Corner and it goes way back from the Philippines. And I ordered the biggest size that they have. This is the Terra Fries and you can order two flavors with it because it's so big. Look at that. Potato Corner is actually pretty new here in Vancouver. During our first year here in Vancouver, we had to drive all the way to Seattle, two hours just to get these fries. Thankfully, they opened up here in Canada. If you ask any Filipino about Potato Corner, for sure they're going to know it because it's the number one fries in the Philippines. All right, let's go and have to peony. We're here. Look at that lineup. Thank you. We're in. Before we begin, we should put on our Christmas mode. <laughs> so apparently, there's a pre-show going on because now cars are lining up towards the entrance and now what we have to do is tune into a certain radio station to hear the pre-show. Remember, you have your flashlight, turn it on, and let's light up the night and show Santa that you are ready for Christmas. This drive-in has a bit of a story. We are going to go through nine enchanted lands to find Santa Claus. They gave us the option to go bypass and straight onto the attraction, or do we want to stop for mini donuts and hot chocolate first? Of course, we said... We said yes! <laughs> Why would you say no to hot chocolate? <laughs> Large hot chocolate, or is it just one size, eh? Yeah, just one size. Okay, just a hot chocolate, please. No, this one. Please. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. If you guys are going to a Christmas event, you gotta try their hot chocolate for sure. I think we're about to enter the actual attraction. We are now going to enter the first enchanted land. This is called Winter Creatures. And you can see why. Because there's a lot of gigantic creatures. <laughs> Enchanted land. This is the Merry Bright Forest. There's a lot of LED trees with different colors. Okay, where's the lights? <laughs> there seems to be a portion without lights. It seems to be like a back alley. Now I'm kind of hesitant if we took the right or the wrong turn. <laughs> I think we're still on the right path. This looks very familiar. If you guys remember the last the last last vlog, we went to another drive-in that was sponsored by Best Buy. This is one of their booths. And also we already entered the fifth land, which is called Santa Rocks. It's the best time of the year. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Christmas time. It's the best. Hello. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I think 
are on the next enchanted land. It's called Santa Street. So on Christmas Eve, when you're not here, I will coach myself through my greatest fear. It's fun how they converted the entire PE into a drive in. Because if you guys remember, Merry Christmas! We attended the Aurora Winter Festival last year and it was kind of the same design, same decorations, but now it's a drive-in. We found Santa! 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 He's dancing! <laughs> Santa! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Santa! <laughs> Santa has boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are in the food truck section right now. What's good about this drive-in is they always serve food trucks at the end. So you're never gonna go home hungry. <laughs> Too yep. bad we already had dinner. Mm. We should have tried the food trucks. Who knew that Santa would have those moves, right? That was such a great time. We had such a great time celebrating Christmas this week and it's gonna continue next week. So make sure you guys are subscribed. And also hit that like button if you guys love this video. And we'll see you guys on the next Christmas vlog. Cheers! <laughs> what are you doing? It's not good for the picture. <laughs> Let's try this again. How do I pick? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I have to take it out. Oh dear. <laughs> Before we begin, we should be on our Christmas mode on. Smooth mode? Huh? Before we begin, we should put on our Christmas mode. Before we begin, we should put our Christmas mode on. Before we begin, we should put our Christmas mode on. <laughs> Before we begin, we should put our Christmas mode on. <laughs> Before we begin, we should put our Christmas mode. <laughs> put on, put on. Take 100. And now that we have to do is tune into a certain radio station to hear the pre-show. I think we may be too far. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> so this drive-in has a bit of a story. There are nine magical islands. Nine. Islands? <laughs> <laughs> Is he sanitizing Santa's sleigh? <laughs> Let's just stay here. There's no one, there's no cars behind us. Oh, there is. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Matt is causing traffic. Santa! <laughs> Santa's working. Santa is. Santa got tired and hungry <laughs> from all the dance, from all the dancing. <laughs> 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 